Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Church's Show. We're glad you could join us. What a week for all the women out there. Happy International Women's Day. Anyway, every day is Women's Day. <laughs> now, thank you so much for your feedback and uh, comments. We really do appreciate. This week, you've requested to see this amazing lady. At 28, she's achieved a lot. This is the amazing story of KG Kamene Goro. Come along with me. Kiuliza, Nataka, when are you bringing an influential lady? We want someone. We want... Okay, we got you. <laughs> Today on the show, we have one of the most amazing, talented radio presenters we have in the country. She's an influencer. She's everything. My goodness. And our journey. <laughs> That's why we are here. So, ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, he is introducing to you KG herself. Amene Goro. Yes, sir. <laughs> How are you doing? Nikofiti, Baba. Mazia Santa Sana. Hey. Thanks for inviting me. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, this is my bachelor pad. Yeah. Number one, Tunaishi. Yeah. The single ladies. Yeah. But I, unona ukamba yeah. is real. Ukamba is real, eh? The colors, mini. <laughs> but the ukamba, Kamene, you know, is a kamba name. Yes, it is a kamba name. And Goro is a... Kikuyu. Okay. Uh-huh. Ebu tuanzia hapo. Aya, basi. So... My family is yeah. very, very mixed, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, Kamene is my mom's mom's name. Yes, Sawa. Yeah. Goro now is the surname. Yeah, that's your grandmother. Yes. So yeah. now, my dad is yeah. a Kikuyu, and then there's a Kaborana Somali blood somewhere. Ah. But him, he was given now the full Kikuyu name. Yes. And then now my mom, yeah. her father is a Giriyama yeah. from Kaluleni, Palaju on the hill. Yes. But her mother is a Kamba. <laughs> so the first one, my brother, yes. is called Wambugu. He was named after my dad's dad. Yeah. I am the second born. Yeah. I was I was named after my mom's mom, <laughs> which is now Kamene. Kamene. Yes. Yes. And then my sister yeah. is called Wangui. Yes. So she was named after my dad's first born sister. Okay. So in the whole family, it's just me and my mom who don't have Kikuyu names. Okay. Which is great because the Kikuyu name they would have given me would be it's so bad. God. It's a very weird <laughs> name. They're, you know those yucky names? For, uh, uh, so Kamene is good. Yeah. It means something very bad in Kikamba. Yeah. But I don't think I'm any of the things that Kamene denotes. Yeah. Sindio. Yeah, you, 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 you are definition of, of beauty and all those nice things. Ah, to my foot. <laughs> yes. So you grew up where? So I was born in South Sea, yeah, Mugoya. Was, what was South Sea? Mugoya. South Sea's finest. Yeah. That's 1992, yeah. March 24th. Nine, you are 1992 born? Yes, I'm a 92 born. Uh -huh. I'm going to be 29 in a couple of weeks. Wow. And then we moved to Woodley yes. in around 97. Uh -huh. And we stayed in Woodley for a very long time. Uh -huh. And then finally, we ended up in Karen now, yeah. which yeah. is now where are they built and yeah. now that's like the family home okay but so is a mini demo kilimani but <laughs> born and raised in nairobi yeah yeah yani i'm the indigenous nairobian uh -huh. what we can do shago december me i'm here like okay so we're a typical like nairobi family mm. uh there's my mom and my dad mm. and we're three kids yeah. so my dad's an engineer yeah. engineer goro very famous yeah more famous than i am mm. He's one of the top structural engineers in the country. Wow. Strict man. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Umse. Nomba. Muogopa. Mungu na farangu. <laughs> Very strict man. Yeah. But also a lot of fun as we got older. Yeah. I'm a lot like him, which is why to Ligongana sana. Yeah. If you ask my father, I was probably the most chaotic child for him. Because mm. he speaks his mind and I speak my mind. Wah. Muna kutana maali <laughs> Akifanya kitu na wambia, no? Yeah. And he's like, look at this child. I'm like, no, daddy. Yeah. My mother, on the other hand, mm. wow. Everything that I am, yeah. I owe to my darling mother. She was everything warm and loving. Yeah. She was there for the laughs. She mm. was there for the tears. Yeah. And she's a creative. So my mom, by profession, is yeah. a film producer. She's a filmmaker. Yeah, wow. Right now, she's the director of Kenya Film School. Wow. She loves working with young people, young creatives. Yeah. And my mom was always the for, she always told me growing up, you can do anything that you want. Yeah. Firstborn is a boy, it's called Wambugu. Yeah. 
Now, he's a graphic designer, very talented. Yeah. Um, so he's the head of the house. Mm. He's not noisy. Hana mm. Makelele. Yeah. If you see him and you see me, you'll be like, what's wrong with you, Kamene? Uh -huh. But when he tells me you, I'll be like, sour. Uh, you know? Because uh, <laughs> he's my mom's favorite. Yeah. Then... <laughs> Then there's my baby sister. Yeah, mom is here. Uh, of course, but we all know, mom. We know Wambugu is your favorite, but I am the best. <laughs> then there's your sister. Then there's my sister, yeah. who came nine years after me. There's a good nine-year gap between me and Natasha. The oops. Eh, but she was the best thing that happened. Yeah. I don't know what we would be without her. Yeah. Me and my sister are very, very close. Oh, wow. Yani Uyo, yeah. I will kill what's, for her. What's her name? Natasha. 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 She's 20 now. Yeah. I think she's a reason why I work so hard. Yeah. I don't have kids, but I want to give her anything that she wants. What does she do? She's studying medicine at Chiromo. Yeah. Yeah, we're wow. serious people. There's a well, lawyer, serious there's mood. a doctor, yeah. a designer. Yeah. And all of us went to the University of Nairobi. Yeah. Now my sister is my dad's favorite. So I'm the kid in the middle. Yeah. So let me tell you something about middle kids. How many kids do you have, by the way? Many. Okay, sour. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, yeah. your middle child yes. is the least problematic one. Yeah. Your middle child is the most responsible, yeah. the one who will get things done, yeah. most industrious. Yeah. But we're also called the forgotten child. And no primo. Ah, so now here's the thing. I went to one school from yeah. start to stop. Yeah. Okay, so they are uh, kindergarten one. Mm. We went to a kindergarten called Kestromana, <laughs> which mm. was in Westy. Yeah. But I think I was only there for, I think, half a term. Mm. Before now, I was taken to Rusinga. Mm. Oh. Rusinga school, let me tell you, that school is, it built everything about me. Yeah. So I got into Rusinga KG1, KG2. Yeah. I skipped kindergarten three. Yeah. Went into class one. I was pretty young. Yeah. Because yeah. Shule Tulianzishu at the age of two. Mm. Two years, it one. better find you in school. Uh -huh. So I was in Rusinga mm. primary. It's also part of the reason why I don't talk Kiswahili that mm. well. Utajaribu kunga maa kuna wazamaji wanaona kiu. You know, thing is what, was a foreign language. Yes, because what they did is, yeah. uh, so we did the British system. Yeah. So when I was in class three, yeah. they were, you know, they used to call them modern foreign languages. Uh -huh. So there was French, there was German, and then there was Kiswahili. Yeah. So my parents picked French and German yeah. as opposed to Kiswahili. And then at home, it was just English. So I didn't get to learn Kiswahili. Uh -huh. So I went through primary in Rusinga, mm. secondary school, Rusinga, up until my O levels. Uh -huh. I was a very bright student, by the way. He spoke about mathematics in the mayor. <laughs> mathematics and physics. Yeah, for real. I couldn't. Yeah. Even my math teacher gave up on me. You know, my dad's an engineer, so him, he doesn't understand how mathematics, yeah. how can you not? It's so it, simple. Enough for in the blood. Yes. Yeah. Then I moved into my A-levels. Yes. Like, in this, imagine, I went from Rusinga school. Yeah. yeah. And I had, so here's the thing, I wanted to do broadcast journalism. Mm. And that's one thing people don't know. Mm. I really wanted to do broadcast journalism. <laughs> Why? And Why? So I used to look up to, you know, Kina Julie Gishuru, Caroline, those were my idols, by yes. the way. Yeah. And I always used to say, I want to be a Julie Gishuru. You yeah. know, I wanted to be a news anchor. Yeah. And my mom got it, yeah. but my dad not so much. They're like, it was like broadcast journalism, and yeah. they had a whole intervention. Yeah. Like, listen. Yeah. Broadcast journalism is not a good first degree for you. Yeah. So you yeah. are going to do law. We've had you talk talk about law. I did a lot of MUN. Mm. I was in the debate club for four years. Yes. And then I used to train the debate team that yeah. went to represent Kenya in South Africa. Wow. So they were like, just do law. And I was like, cool. Yeah. So I had a couple of scholarships to go study in the UK from three universities. Mm. My dad was like, okay, all well and good. Yeah. Sour but you are going to the University of Nairobi. Uh, and the discussion ended there. Yeah. Parkland's campus. Yeah, law. Law. Hey, wakili. Yes. Wakili, come in. I'm almost in your name. Oh, law. You can't jump at me. Yeah. But I started working in my second year. All right. So let me tell you. Remember, I didn't talk Kiswahili. Yeah. I'd been in a private Christian school most of my life. Yeah. And you know, Rusinga was really, really disciplined. Yeah. Going out, you could go out once in a while, but we didn't have many liberties. Yeah. My life was literally school, church. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. school. 
Saturday there's a church activity or I used to sing in the prison worship team. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Can you even sing now? Uh, relax. Sasa <laughs> nashinda ni kishout na jalasa asubuhi. Out is dead. Yeah. So Saturday sing in choir. I was kwanza I was the head of the prison worship team at St Andrews. Wow. Yes. St Andrews. St Andrews Palace Swift. <laughs> so Saturday we go for practice for prison worship. Yes. Sunday I'm in church. Then man, then after that we go have lunch or eh, play golf. You play golf. Yes. Eh. My father really insisted. Eh, eh. He's had us playing golf from eh, eh. Yes. Last time I played I was playing off eight. Eh, wow, yes. not bad. That's very good for a woman. Eh, yeah. But it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Says that talking peleka range nta jiaibisha tu. So, yeah, church, eh, eh. uh golf, lunch, yeah. home, homework, Monday, eh. school. Look at this beautiful nice naive girl. Now we go to university. Eh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so me I was in para 1. So yeah. there's para 1 day, then there's para 2 evening. Yes. Then there's wasewa reg. Yeah. Sasa naenda kupatana na wasewa. Guys who've been in you know the local system, you know. Yeah, yeah. Watu. Yeah, yeah. The people who will now later on became my friends for a lifetime. Mutus. Father ali ni set up. Yeah. So I drove. Yeah. I drove I've never been on a matatu. But I drove straight through like you never been on a matatu? Leo tapanda. Uko na jokes. Uko na jokes. But we can I'm yeah. open. Yeah. So um I get into so now you're going for admission day. Yeah. You know that yeah. you go fill the forms, you do mara nini. So my dad had a 124 yes. at the time. So yeah. he's like you drive this one. Because we lived in Karen's like you drive this so he didn't want me to live yeah. on campus yeah. or a hostel mm. you're staying at home mm -hmm. so imagine you're driving in mm. day one you don't know anyone and you're driving in with a classic Benz our kids are kanza so as it is i've already been segregated yeah. and i'm here feeling really weird because people don't see like we're all the same yeah ah mkasema bede mtani accept yeah And just like that I but then I made friends by force. Yes. I had friends in reg, I had guys in evening class. Yeah. I was really social. But they want University of Nairobi taught me how to just gel. Gel. Yeah. There was a guy called Timothy Mutambuki. Uh -huh. Timothy was in reg but he was my homie like this. He's a 0.5 kamba. Yes. Ukimwona, uh -huh. he looks like a white boy. Uh -huh. Lakini akikukoroga kikamba, uh -huh. you're like bus. <laughs> Tim taught me all the shang i know yeah he's like okay so no don't say that yeah. then i had like a small accent yeah. anytime we'd hear it chomoka is like where yeah. i'm like sorry basi yeah. and i learned a lot from people i went into university extremely naive i knew nothing other than school mm -hmm. home church yeah. school home church i'd never dated yeah. had my first boyfriend when i was in university wow. so i went in very naive that a guy No, What? Timo no. I have some <laughs> funny boy, just some funny character. <laughs> And yeah, it it actually taught me a lot. I was very naive. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the University of Nairobi yes. and the friends that I made, yeah. I'd be a danda. I should thank you, father, that you stayed in Kenya. That I went to a public university. Sindio. Yeah. Ah, that was the best Parklands. the best years of my life. Amazing people. Now before we go a break, na bado naongea kiki jam money. Ah, it's been a while. It's been a minute. Yes. Okay, I want to tell your mom something you've never told her. I honestly don't know what I would be without you. You have formed every single part of the woman I've become today. And honestly, my prayer every day is that as I go through the ins and outs that God will mold me into the woman that you are, even a tenth of the woman that you are, as in I'd be lost. I'd be nothing. We would all be nothing without you. I mean, I've never told her that. <laughs> so sad. So sad. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about uh, uh, Radio Career TV and of course, <laughs> yes, marriage. Oh! <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. Don't go away. <laughs> Your story utakagi. <laughs> What do you say welcome back in I, in Germany? I welcome is willkommen. 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 Welcome back. 
Welcome back to Chacho Show. It's amazing we have Kamerne Goro on set here. Mm -hmm. So now, radio ulijipata aje sani. How did you, let's your journey kwa media. Kwa media. How did you find yourself there? I told you I was studying law, yeah. okay? Yeah. So in second year, yeah. there's something you go for called clinicals. Yes. All right? Yeah. So I went for clinicals at the Kibra Law Courts. Yeah. And then I went to Milimani. Mm. And then after Milimani, I started working with an advocate called Peter Simani. Yeah. The late. Yeah. And I worked for him for a couple of months, mm. almost eight months. Mm. And then the Westgate tragedy happened. Yeah. That's where um, it stopped because yeah. Peter, Peter died there. Mm. So mm. the practice had to restructure and whatnot. And I was just but a paralegal pupil at the time. Mm. I was back out now in school, mm. you know, not working per se. Mm. I have a very strong work ethic, all right? Yeah, so I've seen. <laughs> So at that time, yes. Ibru TV had just come into the country yes. and uh, they were setting up. Uh -huh. So my mom was helping them maneuver the parameters of setting up. So there's a day they came to the house mm. um, to discuss something. Yeah, those taxi guys. Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, amazing guys. Mm -hmm. Kina, Mr. Ali, <laughs> amazing guys. <laughs> so Mr. Ali was talking to my mom yeah. and then he looked at me and he was staring at me. Mm. And he asked me in the most broken English, yeah. you know, like, you think of TV? Yeah. I'm like, I think of TV. He's like, no, like, my mom's like, he's asking, have you ever thought of being on TV? And I was like, yes. Yeah. It has been my dream. Yeah. He's like, I have station. Yeah. You come screen test. I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm saying it's cheesy. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Maybe yeah. he's doing this yeah. to impress my mom or something. Mm. So I was like, yeah, cool, no problem. I'll come for the screen test. Yeah. It's me and I share with my bro. Yeah. That was on a Saturday. On Tuesday, mm. I get a call. When are you coming, screen test? I was like, Murma. are you serious? Yeah. He's like, you come and he gave me a day. It was, I think it was a Thursday. Yeah. Day of came, we went there, they received me. They're like, you want to put makeup? I'm like, yeah, I'm even here with my friend. <laughs> went in, kapako makeup. Bob, boo, yeah. but it is well. <laughs> now I'm going for the dream. Yeah. And I went into the studio. Yeah. I was so nervous. Yeah. So Ibru at the time yeah. was at uh, INM Hapa Second Gong Avenue. Yes. So the studio was really small and the lights were like here in your face. Yes. So I get in. I'm a very shy person. People yeah. don't know. And I'm shaking. I'm nervous. Yeah. The lights are here in my face. Yeah. Before you know it, my makeup is melting. Yeah. I'm stuttering. <laughs> See as he saw my prompter because I've left my glasses in the car. Yeah. It was just a mess. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Kidem. It's over. Forget this thing. Mm. The news director at the time was a guy called Mr. Nadir. Mm. So Mr. Nadir didn't speak a word of English, mm. but he had an, uh, a translator. Mm. So now I've been taken to Nadir. Yes. He's just sitting there looking at me. Mm. And then he says something in Turkish. <laughs> yeah. So his translator is a young guy. Yeah. I'm saying I'm about sweatpants, I'm about jays. Yeah. And this guy is like, ah, anakuliza, bono unataka i job. Yeah. I was like, I know I didn't do well, but uh -huh. why do I want this job? It's my dream. It's uh -huh. my passion. Uh -huh. I can guarantee you one thing. Uh -huh. Even if I have no experience, I will learn and I will learn fast. Yes. I told him, I have dreams to be like Julie. I want to be on TV. I know I will do the best that I can. I'm a hard worker, but I can promise you, Mr. Nadir, yeah. I will not fail you. Three days later, mm. I got a call. When you come in, sign your contract. I'm <laughs> like, ah, are you serious? For real? Yes. And my mom drove me mm. to the office that Saturday morning. Yeah. I signed that contract. I didn't even know how much I was going to get paid. Yeah. Wow. And I started working. Mm. So I was a field reporter. Eh, you can see jokes. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. Before, Ile from studio. What? Eh? Before you get to go to the studio. Yeah. Mr. Vitico Nadir. I owe my entire professional prowess mm. to that man. Mm. I learned English with him yeah. <laughs> as he was getting taught until yeah. he became fluent. Yeah. But he trained me every day. Mm. I'd write 10 scripts a day. Yeah. He'd go through all of them. He'd translate them, go through all of them. Yeah. I'd enter the studio yeah. to do those screen tests three times a day. Yeah. Every single day mm. until he said, now you're okay. The first day I ever went on screen in yeah. Kenya, was the day Rina Shibisi passed away. And the first news item I ever had to read, mm. the day that my dream was coming true, mm. 
was that of the death of my mentor and one of my very best friends. Mm. And that was one of the hardest bulletins. Because mm. you're here, you have to give the news and you can't cry. Mm. I remember I left that bulletin. I went to the bathroom. I sat on the floor and I cried. Because I couldn't believe how was my dream coming true on the day of one of my biggest tragedies. Mm. So yes, that was the first day I went on air. At the age of 21, wow. I was the youngest news anchor in the country. Mm. Pasua, for the longest time, it was just me as the anchor. Mm. I did the 1 p.m. news, I do the 4 p.m. and then I do the prime time. And then Ibru went through this major expansion. They mm. built their studios. Mm. And this entire time I'd be reading news as Michelle Goro. Mm -hmm. And then they brought the superstar that was Michelle Morgan. I went from being only anchor, primetime anchor, to whoop, straight back into lunchtime news. <laughs> You're being humble. Yeah. Because <laughs> Michelle was a force. Yes. I realized then, yeah. I wouldn't be able to make a name or an identity for myself mm. if I was going to be the other Michelle. Mm. You get? Mm. I said, okay, this is it. There's no more Michelle Goro. Mm. And that's when I picked my second name, mm. Kamene. Kamene Goro. And I went on air at 1 p.m. Mm. Hope you're having a good day. My name is Kamene Goro. Welcome to Ibru at 1. Yeah. And that's when Kamene started. Tukapasua, tukapasua. People love that, Kamene Goro. You know, I didn't, I was, I, I had no idea. Yeah. You know, like my shosh right now, she's, she loves the name. She's like, wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> Kamene. Kana, <laughs> kaito. And tukendelea, tukendelea. Then I fell in love. And I left my job. You fell in love. I fell in love. I remember I gave them two days notice. I went in on, I had traveled over the weekend. I came back on Monday. On Tuesday, Mr. Nadir wasn't there. Mm. I typed up my letter in the office. I dropped it on his desk and I told him, Thursday will be my last day on air. And by that time, I was head anchor. Mm. I had the primetime news slot. Yeah. I had a show that was about current affairs and politics. I had hosted Raila, Mutula were my go-tos. I had met every, you mm, know. Mm. My career was starting to make sense. Mm -hmm. Nadir came on Wednesday, saw the letter. He said, what is it that you want? Do you want money? Do you want what? I was like, no. Yeah. I want to go. And he was like, there's nothing I can do? I was like, no, there's nothing you can do. He said, okay, it is well. Where are you going? Now? Where was I going? Yeah. I was going to Arusha. You're going to get married? Yes, I was going to be with the person that I fell in love with. Just like that? You do any Kurogwa? But there, I think it's madness happened. <laughs> 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 so you decided now, this is too much, I'm going to get married. Now. Yes. I'm going to settle down. Yes, I'm going to settle down. Maybe it's time to reapproach this nini. I'm out. Your parents were Lisemanji, your mom. Ah, what? I, we didn't talk for years. I didn't talk to my dad for... I think probably up until I came back. Up until now, I had to start from scratch. And everything had ended. My mom didn't talk to me for a year, and it figured a point. She was like, you know what? We're not going to fight over this. Me, I'm your mother. Mm. If this is what you want, I'm here for it. Whether it goes good or bad, I don't agree with it, but you're my daughter. So let's not lose out on the relationship just because of this. Now, I mean, they never accepted him, to which I understand. But for me, I consider that a great experience of, it gave me clarity on what I want mm. and what I don't want. You see, when we're married, of course, there were a lot of biasharas and things we did together. It's yeah. not like I was idle. Yeah. But I needed more purpose in my life. Mm. It really used to frustrate me. Kwanzaa towards the end of the marriage when I looked at my life and my week and I only have two highlights. Two things I'm looking forward to the whole week. Mm. The day I go to the supermarket and the day I go to the salon. Those are the only two things I'd have to achieve in a week. And I was like, me? Mm. How? From like, head news. You know, from, you know, speaking to the greatest political minds and, you know, movers and shakers in our society. Mm. He provided everything. Mm. I never lacked. Mm. I could walk into any mall and buy anything without having to look at the prices. If I wanted to travel, I could go anywhere. Mm. It was a very comfortable life. A life that most women aspire to. Mm. But I couldn't. Nilikuwa na cheesy. Because I'd be like, salon, a supermarket. Imagine. Unamuka subui, unoga, unavaa. 
to go to the supermarket. How did you end it? I didn't end it. He's the one who ended it. Okay. Yeah. I, I need that story when we <laughs> come back, all right? Yes. My goodness, the story of Kamene Goro. I hope you're thinking of writing a book. I am writing a book. Okay, you'll tell us about that. We'll be right back after the break. My goodness. My name is Jelango. Definitely, all of you know that I get a chance to work with Kamene every single morning. It's been seven months since we started this show. But uh, what so many people don't know is that Kamene has been my friend for a very, very long time. When uh, I first came here, everybody said, Ah, Jelaz Kamene, what a combination that can't work. What nonsense is that? And uh, I told her, listen, these people will talk. Let's just settle down and give them our best. Look at us now, look at us now, okay? So she believed in me, she accepted to learn some stuff from me, I accepted to learn a lot from her, and uh, we've just created a monster morning radio show, and that's what I love. The best thing about Kameni definitely is the fact that, you know what, she wakes up to come to work. She's just somebody who loves to work, and she's somebody who's pushing herself to make sure that, you know what, she achieves the thing that she wants. If I say she is uh, one of the best people I've ever worked with, yes, that will be the biggest, biggest truth. And uh, nothing further from the truth. I would work and choose Kamene any day to work with her, any day. And uh, I hope that I'll finish this radio a career with her will be here with me throughout. I'm not planning to have any other co-hosts because the fun that we have here. She has this one rule around her. Work hard, play even harder. Right? Work hard, play even harder. She works hard and uh, sometimes we really play hard. She loves to have fun. Kamene is just life. One thing I hate about her sometimes can just be a pain in the tea. <laughs> because of uh, being clingy and everything and i've told her listen i'm not your boyfriend i've told my mom that uh, you know she has to call all her chama women to put them together to pray for kamene to get a husband get married and get a child things that she has said siko kwa hiyo whatsapp group kabisa 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 mimi mfupi but i have experience with these chairs tumesikia mara moja Welcome back. Uh huh. Ni ni ni. But I mean later, I mean later lunch. I prefer to have frangos. Yes. Ni kama mkamba me frango luambo ba jina frango. Yeah frango. Frangos. Eh eh. But like we say, my frango luambo frango. Ile wimbo ya frango tu kwa frango. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful place. Yes. Uh huh. Let's go back. Kabla toke kwa nyumba. Uh huh. So now, how a good guy. Mm -hmm. From Tanzania. Yes. How yeah. did it end? You... How did it end? I'd come to Kenya to do a 10 day yeah. uh, workshop mm. with uh, Ibru just to help them get their news department together because Nadir had trained me. Mm. And he was going to South Africa for a conference or something. Yeah. So we left uh, Arusha at the same time. He went to the airport and I came down to Nairobi. That was a Monday. Tuesday to Kosawa. Wednesday, I was going in for to do my workshop. Mm. So, you know, those ones, hi, morning, how are you, baby? Da 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 da. So, to know, I'm dogo, I'm dogo in between, he's like, by the way, okay, we can't be together anymore. I'm like, what do you mean? Mm. Is this, this, not a, this is not how things end. You know, we are yeah. married. Yes. And he's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's just how it's going to be. Because I'm, I'll call you later. I'm like, what do you mean? And that's how it ended on a WhatsApp call on a Wednesday morning. That was it. That was it. And interestingly enough, the day he broke up with me is the same day I was offered the head of news position. <laughs> At same, same day. God. <laughs> yeah. Same day. And now, radio. Wow. One thing about me is when I've done what I need to do, I don't hesitate leaving. I really believe in progress. Mm. So I cleaned up the news department. It was running well. I had gotten in. Um, new reporters, I'd put in new talent on TV, so it was moving really well. We had done the first election coverage, now we were heading to the second one, yeah. and I realized I was done. And it ended. I went to see Mr. Nadir, I told him, I think I need to move on, mm -hmm. and I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. I think I was at home, and I saw this new page on Instagram. Mm. 
and it looked really cool. So that was energy at the time. Mm. And I opened and it was, you know, Kenya's next big radio station. I was like, hmm, radio. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. And I slid into the DM. Yeah. So a couple of months went by and then they DM'd me. So I went. Yeah. And I was shown everything, you know, the studios and the blah, 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 And I was like, <sighs> and then I was introduced to a man called Duncan Musicha, yeah. who was a programs controller. Mm. And he interviewed me for about two hours. I didn't hear back from them for like eight months. Yes. Saizo Niliona. Mwalimurecho la mengizwa. Nona kina shak the young in wakondani. You know, I'm like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> what about me? Yeah. So after eight months, I'm in Tao getting my weave put in. Yeah. And Duncan calls me. How many where are you? I said, I'm in town. Mm. Can you come to the office now? I'm like, Saizo niko na malines, nyele ko. I'm looking at myself. I'm like, hey, yeah. Baba niko, I'm in the salon. Yeah. Can I come tomorrow? He's mm. like, come tomorrow, first thing. Went the next day. Mm. I was put in a boardroom, mm. and they asked me, "Why should we put you on radio?" I'm like, "Why not?" And same thing I told Mr. Nadir, "I'll never let you down." And they told me I was going to be the host of the breakfast show. Yeah. And we started building the show slowly, slowly. So one day Kev asks me, "Kamene, if you could think of a man who would be able to actually counter you, mm. who would that person be?" Yeah. Is ah. Andrew Kibe, because yeah. I'd met him before. Yeah. I came to the office the next day. Who do I find at the reception? Yeah. Kibe. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not serious. Yeah. How could serious? Yeah. You actually want me to work with this guy? Yeah. And it was such war. Yeah. <laughs> so we started building the show, and they liked our chemistry and how we'd fire off against each other, how yeah. we'd disagree and. Yeah. I think it's the chaos that made sense for them. Yeah. It was specifically picked as the 4th of July yeah. that we went on air for the first time. Because 4th of July is Independence Day, yeah. I think, in the yeah. States. Yeah. So apparently we were coming to, you know, liberate the airwaves. <laughs> I've never been more terrified in my life. <laughs> my first link, Atakueka Feda Ju Ilikwa Shishida. And it's 6 a.m., the studio is full. Yeah. Everyone now has... The billboards had gone up. Yeah. Guys are like, there's no way. Yeah. Kamene and Kibe. Yeah. It's impossible. These yeah. guys and we went on air and it was just madness. Yeah. That day we trended number one. Yeah. I left the studio after sweating and I, <laughs> I'll never forget that day. Yeah. And we pushed yeah. and pushed and energy gained numbers. My whole world just changed. Mm. You know, I went from being that nice TV chick, the mm. really pretty, soft-spoken, yeah. big mind to come Come You know, it was, anything is working. With vigor. You know, it was. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it was parties every weekend. Big concert. Big, huge, huge. Yeah. I went from being on radio to being on stages, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. to emceeing, to hyping. Mm. And then a couple of months down the line, honestly gotten so frustrated with how it was working at energy. I got into a point for me where I didn't want to do the job anymore. Mm. I hated waking up. I hated going to the studio. I hated everything about my life that revolved around my career on radio at energy. Mm. And I was just like, I'm so done with this. Mm. Even if you listen to me then, of five days that I was supposed to be on air, at most I'd be on air three days. Two days later, mm. Kiba tells me we're moving. I was like, now. <laughs> Now, even as soon as yesterday, yeah. Energy refused my resignation up until the last day. Anyway, we finally settled and they accepted my resignation. I used to do Thursday nights at 4040. Yeah. So to go here, fun times. I think it was 2 a.m. Mm. My manager at the time, she's called Brenda, mm. came with her phone and showed me a screenshot of a cause list. You know a cause list, the one when you go to Cotini, who yeah. versus who? And my name had been circled. I was item number four. Energy Media versus Michelle Kamene Goro. Mm. She's like, babe, you're supposed to be in court tomorrow. At 10, get a message, please come to the office. By 2.30, they had gotten a three-month injunction, barring us from going on air up until the end of the determination of the case. Mm. Now, when the three months lapsed, mm. I thought now, oh, we can get on air. The court said, no, this injunction is up until the end of this case so come konaraka settle out of court and we had to 
Someone was trying to block my blessing. Shindwe. <laughs> Shindwe. And we came yeah. in to kiss and boom. Mm. Guys were like, wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. And kiss was amazing. Yeah. I got to sit on that seat. I got to speak to millions of Kenyans. They got to know me. <laughs> All this. <laughs> All, All this. Frangos. This is you. This is your normal lunch. Uh, so, so Kibe left. Kibe left. So then Jalango. Eh, Jalango. So he's been my friend for many years. Mm. Jalango knew me even when I was still married. When I was told now I'd be working with Jalango, I was like, ah, what? I'm ready. This is going to be amazing. But everyone out there was saying how you and Jalango are so different. You know, will you be able to keep up with him? He has a different audience. And a lot of guys were saying this is the worst decision Kiss has made. Yeah. Because I'm at let's just have fun. Oh. To pick a two story. Boom. Number one. Look at you. Now you're number one. Now we're number one. Cheers. How does it feel? Number one. To be number one. Nimungu. Nimungu. God is big. God is big. God is so and big. And he's taking you far. Nabado. What kind of guy are you? I don't like light skin men. These two yellow, yellow pretty boys now. And a kitu in a car. Kilnyeji. Something homegrown, organic. <laughs> nice dark. Ndevu. Mabega. What do you tell young girls? It can be done. Mm. It's possible. Mm. Dream big. Have those huge, crazy dreams. Have them. Yeah. Because you can do it. Mm. If I was listening to Kiss in the morning when Caroline was there, and now I'm here. Mm. It can happen. It was a dream and it can happen. Mm. Self-respect is lacking. Mm. We don't pend ourselves. Yeah. I see standards dropping every single day. I see the bad behaviors pandying. And me, someone who has had to pay the price yeah. for doing some very wrong things. Yeah. I want us to all be better. Yeah. To live the good life. To set the right example. Mm. It's just be better. Dream big and you can do it. You can do it. Hard work pays, imagine. It does. Hard work, consistency, dreaming. The next five years? Next five years, I definitely believe I'll still be at KISS. In the morning, a strong number one where no one can get us. I'm writing a book. I wanted it to be out before my birthday. Mm. Hopefully, I'll have started my PhD and you guys will be calling me Dr. Kamene Goro. Oh, yeah. Yes! So you have to do that? Yes, Sindio. Uh -huh. I will have gained a lot of experience in life and changed even more. If possible, Mungu akitaka. And hopefully, Mulu ya takuwa mengi ya. I relax at a new, mkona pressure more. <laughs> Maybe I'm okay like this. <laughs> hey. Okay, one baby. Mm. You'll be 33. <laughs> no. No baby. No baby yet. No baby. Let's change the world first. <laughs> ah, we have something here. You pick one. Manchester Arsenal. Manchester Arsenal? Mm. Of course, Manchester. Manchester, okay. Arsenal is for depression. <laughs> Shafiwero or Andrew Kibe? Shafiwero. Shafiwero. Yeah. Sukumawiki or Kunde? Kunde. Any day. Any day. But can I have both? Is it Changanya, Tweke, Kamanagu, Terere? What? TV or radio? Radio. Long hair or short hair? Because I have short now, so I miss the long. You miss the long? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, skirts uh, or dresses? Trousers. Trousers. <laughs> Black or white? Black. Drive or driven? Driven. Mom or dad? Mom. Ah, I should have uh, your sister or your brother? Ah, uh, my sister. Uh, <laughs> Easy. Your brother is watching. He knows I love him, but I love Natasha more. Tell uh, me how powerful social media has been. Wow. Last year, 2020, pandemic hit. Yeah. We took a 30% pay cut off gross. Mm. But our bills remained the same. Mm. I wasn't broke last year. You know what kept us alive? What helped us survive? Mm. Ensured I could still travel and still live the life that I live? Social media. The gigs came in. The power of social media is amazing. The whole world is in your phone. If you know how to channel that power the right way, yeah. it can make such a difference. Okay. I mean, I've seen it go left for a lot of people, but I want people to know social media is not the real world. It's very powerful. But it's not the real world. Mm. It's a media platform. Yeah. Don't get caught up into it. Consume it the same way you read the newspaper, same way you watch the news. Mm. It is a media platform. Make sure that you remain present in the real world. Yeah. But social media, 
career wise, value wise, powerful. Very powerful. If anything is going to change in Kenya, yeah. it's going to start there. To memaliza not have cool as a sasa to focus. To attaka to root sasa to as a kukula visiria. Bila fucking knife. Kuna jamaa na tuangalia hapa hivi. One thing that is uh, funny about Kamene, <laughs> guys, Kamene anakula kachumbari kama mbuzi. Anapenda kachumbari. Uyu ni mwanamuka na esha ingia kwa hoteli, aitise kachumbari kwa sani kubwa na kachumbari ngine kwa sani ndogo. And if you thought that yo unamkatia, huyu wataki chochote, mletetu kachumbari. Kachumbari. Kachu what? 